Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Symbols and Saints. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the sacrament of baptism and octagons. So to get us started, I'd like to read an instruction in the order of baptism. It says this, Baptism, far superior to the purifications of the old law, produces its effects by virtue of the mystery of the Lord's passion and resurrection. Those who are baptized are united with Christ in a death like his, are buried with him in death, and also in him are given life and are raised up. So the instruction talks about baptism as being the sacrament in virtue of which we enter into Christ's death and especially his resurrection. And in saying that, they're just following what St. Paul said about the sacrament of baptism. He says this, Don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. So St. Paul himself makes that connection between our being baptized and Christ's resurrection. Baptism is our connection into that kind of life. Jesus' life that has the power over death and the power to resurrect. So now I'd like to show why the octagon is significant to that. So let me show you the baptismal font here at Immaculate Heart of Mary. <clears throat> so what I'd like you to notice about it is that it's an octagon. It has eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And many baptismal fonts throughout the world are in the same shape. They have eight sides. Now, why is that? The symbolism is trying to connect the idea of a new creation with the original creation. So it's trying to show us that in baptism, by entrance into Christ's resurrection, we are being recreated. So now the question is, okay, how is the resurrection connected with creation? Why is the resurrection this kind of new creation? And what does eight have to do with that? Okay, so of course we know that Christ was raised from the dead on Sunday. We celebrate Easter on Sunday. Sunday is the day of the resurrection. And now the question is, what day did creation start? And most of us, I think, we kind of instinctually think Monday. Monday's the first day of the week, isn't it? But that's to think as a Christian. And we need to think of a Jew in order to interpret Genesis correctly, in order to be in that framework. So, thinking as a Jew, we remember that the Sabbath is the last day. Saturday is the last day of the week. And Sunday is the first day. So Sunday is the day that creation begins. Sunday is the day when God creates the world. So then, when you go forward seven days, the eighth day begins the new week. So Sunday, the Sunday of Easter, is the beginning of the new creation. The same day, but now done anew. The new creation. So baptism and the symbolism of the octagon is the way that the church invites us to see that in our baptism, in going, in entering into Jesus' resurrection, we're entering into a new creation. <laughs>